and exhale, sweep it round to the front and swap over sides. And then gently releasing your hands down, place your hands back behind you and just lift and open to the chest and just breathe. Nice, deep, nourishing breaths. You can breathe out through your mouth if you want to. So the deeper you breathe, all the way down, as deep as you can, and then as you exhale, just really release it. Release everything. All that stuff that's trapped around your hips, around the buttocks, all along your spine. Good. Well done. So we've just got two more moves to explore on here. I'm going to spin around to show you from the side what they look like. So the first one, you're going to lie down onto your back. So you're lowering yourself down onto the floor. And we're going to see if we can pick up your legs and bring them over the top. So we're just lengthening through the legs as much as possible. And you're extending, see if you can, bring the legs down back behind you. Now, if you can't get all the way, you might want to get a Pause this video and get a prop, like a chair, to just place your feet onto, just until your hamstrings get a little bit more used to the position. But if you can, just keep tilting yourself until your feet just touch the floor. And when you're there, if you want to, you can release the hands down, and just relax into it. It's a real release on the back of the neck. So we're working here with Ajna Chakra, the brow chakra. And this is the space of our intuition, our inner knowing. So as we hold that position, you might feel a little bit of pressure around the back of the neck, around the back of the head. But just focus on that brow centre. Maybe feel it pulsating. It really allows you to listen to your body and it breaks through the illusion. Because a lot of people in this position do not like the way that their body looks in this position. <laughs> it creates a bit of an illusion as to how flabby you are or, or what. So we need to see beyond the illusion, see past it. To see the deeper knowledge, the deeper understanding of the self. So using that Ujjayi breath now, really breathing into it. Try and enjoy this pose. Fabulous. And this brings us into the crown chakra pose. So we're just going to place your hands a little bit higher up your back. Start to extend one leg at a time. So we extend one leg and then pick up the other leg. Nice and tall, nice and lengthened. Breathe and hold there. So listening to your body, how does that feel? This has a massaging effect on the internal organs. So it brings us into balance so that we can be clear and open in the crown chakra and Sahasra, which connects us to our highest purpose, our highest self. The knowledge that goes beyond what we think we know to bring us complete and total understanding. The understanding that everything it is as it should be, good or bad, it's a balance, it's just as it should be. It brings acceptance, the understanding, just being present, being in the moment. On your next breath, we're going to slowly ease back down into the plow, just nice and careful. Then releasing your hands from back behind you and very gently lower yourself down. You might want to bend your legs from that point, place them to the ground, or if it feels more comfortable for you, you might want to bring them in towards your chest and just rock around. Just loosen up any tension in your lower back. Breathing into it. 
And so from all of those movements, we're just going to add one last little twist. There we are. Slowly lower your feet down. Spread your arms wider over the shoulders. Deep breath in and as you exhale, drop your knees over to the right and turn your head to the left. And just relax in the shoulders and the jaw. Deep breath. And then inhale, bringing your knees back through to centre and exhale the other way. So just dropping your knees, turning your head and breathe. Very gently bring yourself back through to centre and we're just going to stay in Shavasana now for a moment. So I want you to just stay and relax. And just closing your eyes, let your shoulders come down away from the ears. And just think about those centres now that we've looked at today. Just start with the very bottom one, Muladhara, the base chakra. Just visualise that red wheel happily spinning around now, bringing you vitality, strength, 